Hey guys, this is Afik. In the last episode, we worked on the um, drag and drop events. Now we're able to grab some images from our computer, drag them in and see the image preview and the image name and size. Now I want to work on the design for the image previews a little bit better and we want to add another uh, bar like at the top with uh, two buttons. One of them will be to select extra images. Um, you know what, I'll just show you the, the design. Uh, this is what I want it to look like. Okay, so I'll have image preview that looks like a tile. It will be responsive. We need to make sure we design it with the flex box as well. So once we resize the window, uh, the tiles will get aligned right. Uh, next, we need uh, this white bar right here to be able to select a new file and also to upload all the images to, to the backend. Uh, the reason we need another extra button is because uh, once we drag the images, we don't see this label anymore. Okay, so now we need another way to communicate with this component uh, to add more images. That's the reason we add another bar here. We the select a file label as well uh, at the top. Okay, so let's get right into it. I'll go back into my code editor. Uh, you know what, before that I need to visit my terminal to make sure that I have npm run watch running. Okay, great. Let's go back into the browser and start working on the images preview component. This is the one right here. Um, let's do display flex for this one and flex wrap wrap. We need the margin top to be about 20 pixels. This is for the bar we're going to add later. Okay, we can grab the CSS from here, go back into my component, down here and add another class for images preview and paste all the CSS right here. Save, refresh and drag new images. Okay, let's keep going. Now we have an image wrapper for each one of those images. Let's give this one a width of about 150 pixels, even more, let's do 160 pixels. Um, display flex, we want the flex direction to be column so we can align the, the image and the name and size inside the container. Next we need a little bit of margin, let's do around 10 pixels, a height of about 150 pixels. Um, we need justify content space between. We want a white background and a little bit of box shadow. Let's do about 5, 5, 20 and let's give it something black. Yeah, this one is good enough. Let's grab the image wrapper CSS, go back into our component and I'll just paste it down here. Okay, next we need to give the image inside a maximum height so it's not going under the um, an image name and the size. Let's give this one about 105 pixels. Let's see how it looks. Refresh, drag the images here. Okay, looking good. We need to take care of the details for each image. Okay, so let's grab the details class and give this one a font size of about 12 pixels. We need the background for this one to be white as well. The color black. Display is flex as well. Flex direction, we want it to be column. So both the name and the size will be on top of each other. We want to align the items at the start so we can take them all the way to the left. And give this one a little bit of padding. Let's do something like three pixels and six pixels. Okay. We have the details, CSS, and drop it under the image wrapper. Okay, next we want to design the name. So let's go here and add a name. This one should be overflow hidden in case we have name that it's too long. And the height should be about 20 pixels. Let's try even 18 pixels. Okay, save, go back, refresh, grab the images again, drop them here. Okay, looking good. Now let's add the bar at the top here based on the design. I want this bar to have um, two buttons, one of them to upload all the images back to the server. The other one should be another link to the select files button. And I want this bar to be presented only if we already have images inside our component. Because if you remember, once this component is loaded, 
we have a big button here but once we drag images or select new images to the component we don't see the button anymore and we want to have a way to communicate with the component okay so let's go back into our code and I'll add the bar at the top here inside the uploader div right around here let's call this one upload control it will have a label now if this label will have the same ID as this label down here they can both trigger the same input okay so we need to make sure this file ID is the same um, inside the four attribute for both labels and then we can use the same text here to um, select a file next we can add another button that does nothing at the moment but this one should trigger the post um, action to the to the backend to save all the images so we need to have a click event. Let's call this one upload. And the text should be upload as well. Now let's add this upload method down here. Okay, now let's go back into the browser and refresh. Okay, now the text and the button are here, as you can see, but we want to hide them uh, based on the images length again, the same as we did here. So we can use the same logic, vshow. But this time it's going to be if we have images, I want to show the bar. Otherwise, we can show the the main text to drag your images here and so on and so forth. Let's go back here, refresh, and you don't see the text. Once I drag the images, you get the text right here. Okay, let's design this bar a little bit. The upload control class. This one should have a position of absolute with 100%. The background should be white top is zero left is zero now I want to take the the two borders at the top left and top right and make those rounded so I cannot use uh, border radius I need to use border top left radius and border top right radius okay so border top left radius seven pixels and the same for the border top right radius seven pixels the padding about 10 pixels padding button should be a little bit less so about four pixels and the text align to the right okay let's grab everything from here go back into our code and paste it right down here okay now we want to design the button and the label both of them will have the same style so button and label we want the background to be the same blue color we had at the top here so this one let's add a border for each one of them so border let's say two pixels solid and let's try this blue color here uh, the border radius let's say about three pixels and the color of the text is white and the font size is about 15 pixels okay let's see how it looks let's go back into the browser refresh grab some images okay starting looking good but we have differences between the the label and the button okay we can fix the label style let's grab this one right here okay that's a padding about um, one pixels and five more than one let's say two and five okay looking good and give it some margin right about 10 pixels okay that's great let's grab this one go down here and just for the label this is the style go back refresh grab the images and as you can see we have the images tiles and those two buttons and the select a file button is now working because we have the same uh, four attribute in both labels so they can both target um, the same input file okay now we want to um, add the uh, courses tile to be pointer for this label so it looks like a button let's go back into our code and for both of them we can do coarser pointer refresh again grab the images drop them here and now it's looking good okay, let's try to add more images select a file go back on my desktop and grab those three open again okay okay now we can take care of the upload function let's go back into the code roll down into the uh, upload method and here we first want to create a form data object so we can append more values into it and then send this form data using axios to our server okay so first step const form data equals new form data 
Okay, now that we have a form data object, we can append more values into it. And once we send it with Axios, it will act the same as we have submitted a form um, using a regular submit button inside our browser. Now we can do this dot files dot for each. And for each one of our files, we want to do form data dot append. And inside an images array, we want to throw the file and also the file name. Okay, so the server should have access to the file itself and also the name for each image. And we'll get all of them inside the same images array key. So we don't have multiple keys for all the images. We have only one key in the upload for all the files. Okay, now that we have the form data ready, we can submit it using Axios. You can do, go down here, do axios.post, and now go to slash images upload. And we need to send the form data. And once we get the response back, we can reset those two arrays, the images and the file, and also show a nice alert to the user saying um, your images are uploaded. So let's do alert images have been uploaded successfully and we can do this dot images equals an empty array and the same for the files okay now we need to set up the route for um, images upload let's go into our routes slash web file and down here we can add another route for post for image upload uh, we'll go to images controller at upload okay. let's create this controller let's go into our terminal and do php artisan make controller images controller fire up the water again go into our images controller and create the method called upload and here we'll get a request from the axios call and we want to check if we have images in the request. So if count of request images. If we do have them, we can just loop through all the images. So for each request images as image. Now each one of those images here is a Laravel file object. So we can use image store and then give it a storage key to store it inside our Laravel storage um, um, directory. So we can do image store and let's create one called images. I'll go into my file systems.php, go down here where it says disks and I'll add another one called images. This one will have a driver of local. And the root for my images will be inside my storage path and a folder called images. Okay, let's save this one. Go back, make sure we didn't miss anything. We need to return a valid response here. So let's do return response JSON um, message done. Okay, let's try it out. I'll go back into the browser, refresh, grab some images, click on upload, open up the console and I get a 500 error. Let's go back into our network tab. Uh, let's see, upload does not exist. We must have a typo here. So upload and inside our web. Okay, yeah, we do have a typo. Let's try again, refresh, grab some images, upload. Okay, great, it looks like it's working. Let's go into our code, storage, app, images, and here you have it. All the images are inside the storage uh, images directory. Great, okay. Great, now we're almost done. The final step for me is to have better notifications for the user once we have an error. If we've uploaded a file that is not an image or if we uploaded something to the server and it came back with an error or we have successful upload, we want to have better notifications to the user. Uh, in those cases, I like to use view toaster. So I can go back into my terminal and do npm install uh, save for view toaster. Now we can fire up the watcher again. Go back into our app.js and right under the require view, we can do uh, view.use um, toaster. Now we just need to import this toaster. So import toaster from view toaster. 
Okay, now we can um, go back into our component, so images app loader. And down here, instead of the alert, we can do this dot dollar toaster. This one is available because we are using the toaster inside our view instance. And we can do dot s for success message. And we can say all images uploaded successfully. Okay, let's remove the alert from here. Save, go back into the browser, refresh. Try to grab some images, drop them here, upload. And we see the toaster, but we don't have the design for it. We can go into the app.view, into the, um, let's add another one for styles with SCSS and drop the import for this library right here. I'll try to refresh again, grab the images, throw them here, upload. Now we get the same thing. Let's see why. Okay, maybe because this one is scoped. Let's delete the scoped attribute. Refresh again, throw the images, upload. Okay, now it looks better. Now let's add another one for the errors, and I think we can call it a day. Let's go back into the code and into the image uploader component. And instead of console log here, we can do um, this dot dollar toaster dot e for error and the same method file name is not an image okay save let's go back refresh let's grab this one throw it here and great the file name is not an image looking great okay now there is only one thing i wanted to add here in this project let's go back into our code and down here i'll add another method this one called get file size okay i'm going to pass it the file in bytes the, the file size in bytes and using this while loop, we can calculate the size based on the uh, bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, and so on and so forth, and give it a nice format to this one. I, I stole this method from Stack Overflow, but you can grab it from my code if you want to. Now we can grab this get file size method, go up here inside the size and use this function to display a nicely formatted size. Let's save this one, go back, refresh, throw those images here. Okay, and uh, now we have a better indication of the file size. Great, so like the file, grab some more files, and AI should not be an image, and it's not. Great, and we can click upload, and now we probably have a bunch of images inside our storage, and we do, we have a lot of them. Okay, this is it guys, we're done with uh, all our requirements. We can now drag images from our computer and drop them into the component. We can select more files from our desktop and open them and add them um, inside the components preview. We can upload everything to the server. We have nice alerts and nice uh, error messages if we have something wrong. Uh, the link to my GitHub project will be down in the description box uh, below. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll be happy to help. Um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.